Just get down from there. You're like some vulture thing. Vultures have to eat, too. Sorry, pal. I'm taking this over to Mrs. Phillips tonight. She's coming home from having an operation. She gets something hacked off or something shoved in? <laughs> now, it was just cosmetic surgery. So maybe a little of both. Don't anyone ask about the blockbuster front page story I just wrote? Nope. You'll have to read about it in the paper tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> the mayor of our sleepy little beach community is going to be indicted for taking taxpayer-paid trips to Cabo San Lucas with a bimbo. Are you making this up? Hey, thanks for your confidence in me, Mom. No, the DA called and leaked it to me personally. Poor guy's going to ruin his career. Well, maybe. But I'm a journalist. I have to be objective, completely emotionless. Hey, cake! <laughs> Uh-oh, you can't. It's from Miss Phillips' operation. Did Estelle get another facelift? By now her ears must be riding on top of her head like Minnie Mouse. <laughs> For your information, she had a fanny tuck. Oh, let me guess. They're using what's left to build a race of androids. <laughs> Matt, that's cruel. But I gotta remember that tonight if Estelle takes me off. <laughs> what's a fanny tuck? You ever get a wedgie? <laughs> Same principle. <laughs> so, where's Abby? Uh, upstairs. Good. Mom, my babysitter just canceled on me. Can you believe it? I have to be at the law library for a lecture in one hour. Oh, Vanessa, it's not the end of the world. Don't have guppies. <laughs> you need a babysitter tonight? Shh, I don't want Abby to hear. Oh, well, I bet she figures it out when a complete stranger checks behind her ears. <laughs> I'll break it to Abby. She's totally convinced that she's old enough to... You know what's it for Lucas, all by herself. No way. She's barely older than me. Vanessa, you used to babysit for me and our sisters when you were Abby's age. Well, I was a very responsible child. Uh, Wasn't I, Mom? That's true. Not a lot of laughs, but very responsible. <laughs> Mom, you're not helping me here. Well, I wasn't trying to, dear. <laughs> ah, Vanessa used to go from room to room holding a little mirror under our little noses to make sure we were still alive. Okay. <laughs> One night, your aunts and I decided to hold our breath when she came by. Within five minutes, this place was lousy with paramedics. <laughs> you weren't laughing when you were getting your stomach pumped. <laughs> yeah, how come you didn't tell those guys to stop, anyway? Because it was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, we're talking about Abby here. I just don't think she's old enough to baby... Yeah, I just don't think she's ready yet. Any idea where I'm going to find somebody at this hour? Look, why don't I just drop this cake off? I'm sure Estelle would understand. Guys, think you're overlooking the obvious here? That lady down the street with all those cats and the built-up shoe. <laughs> I meant me. Are they friendly cats? <laughs> You know, I'm trying very hard not to get offended here. Matt, I promised myself when the kids and I moved in that I would not impose. Fine. Unless there was an emergency, which this definitely qualifies as. You don't mind. Mind? I'd be delighted to be your baby. Nocturnal domestic attendant. <laughs> I'm too old for a stupid babysitter. Hey, bright kid. <laughs> kissing. Mine is a giant death ray. <laughs> I can't I babysit. I'm sorry, sweetie. You're just a little short. This is a height thing? <laughs> In years. You have a shortage of years. I'm almost 13. What could happen? Earthquake, flood, chainsaw guy. <laughs> Besides, your Uncle Matt doesn't have any plans for tonight anyway. 
Why can't you get a life? <laughs> oh, we'll open a minute. She need a babysitter. Grandma, do you think I'm ready to babysit? No, she doesn't. Stay out of this. Look, it was your mom's decision, and even if I thought she was being overcautious and totally paranoid, I would still tip my lip. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't think that, right? <laughs> so I'm never going to get to babysit? Of course you are, when you're older and you have some experience. And how am I supposed to get experience? She asks a good question. Stay out of this. <laughs> Abby, we'll discuss it next time. <laughs> next time? I promise you, the minute that I feel totally secure about leaving you alone with Lucas, I will let you babysit. Actually, that's starting to make sense to me. Stay out of this. <laughs> See you in the morning, Lucas. Oh, come on. How about a hug for your mean old mom? I mean, at least we agree on that. <laughs> mom, I really could do this on my own. Well... And you will, as soon as you get some of that experience your mom's talking about. <laughs> exactly. Now, Matt, you know what to do in case of emergency? Sure. Ah! <laughs> hey, shoot me, it was funny! Oh, come on, Vanessa, relax. Everything's totally under control. I am relaxed. Loose as a goose. First aid kit, earthquake supplies, water purification pills. <laughs> what, no road flares? Side zipper pocket. <laughs> Thanks a whole bunch. She was just about to give. Hey, come on, Ab. I'm on your side. Yeah, well, do me a favor and switch teams. See, just kind of immaturity mom's worried about. So, what are you doing? Oh, just getting some formula so you can give me a night-night bottle in my crib. Listen, your mom won't let you babysit because you don't have any experience. What are you, an echo? And you can't get experience because your mom won't let you babysit. It's called a... A, a circular argument. Really? <laughs> hey, listen, wait, okay. What if I left you completely in charge tonight? You take care of Lucas, you handle all the problems. As Soon as your mom gets home, I tell her the deal and bam, you're in the babysitter's union. But you were still here with me. Yeah, but just like a piece of furniture. Just think of me as a barca lounger with really good hair. <laughs> think mom will buy it? Guaranteed. Think you can handle it? Of course, try me. Okay. What do you do in case of a fire? Depends if it's standard grease or electrical. There's a difference? <laughs> Sheesh, who raised this kid? <laughs> now, was that so terrible? That was a nightmare. What do you have against being clean? Clean kids get beat up by dirty kids. <laughs> You're gonna eat that candy bar after brushing your teeth? Who brushed their teeth? <laughs> Lucas, I'm responsible for you tonight, and I have to show Mama I'm good at it, or she won't let me be the babysitter from now on. Hey, I know the plan, and I also know it's not gonna work. We'll see about that. Now, come here. Let me make sure you took a real bath. Hey, I know how to take a bath. Well, that's good. Because this kid in my class used to just splash water on his hair and wet the towel. Then one day, he got this itchy green fungus that spread all over his body. <laughs> Until finally, he clawed his own face off. <laughs> but you know, that was him. I forgot so. <laughs> you know, your mom used to use the itchy green fungus story on me, too. Did it work? Sort of. Got me to trim my fingernails. <laughs> I never realized you expected me to just be myself. That's all I ever ask, honey. Well, I've learned that now. I learned that last week. I learned that every week, you little creep. Snap out of it. <laughs> and coming up on News at 9, a quiet beach community shocked by rumors of impropriety in the mayor's office. You TV pretty boys call yourselves reporters? I already got that babysetting type. District Attorney Fred Namath has indicted a political prankster impersonating him in phony telephone calls to the news media. Phony calls? That was a phony call? Channel 6 will bring you the DA's news conference on this breaking story live in about a half an hour. Now, stay tuned. I'm dead. I'm worse than dead. I'm unemployed. 
Abby, I have to go to City Hall to fix a story right away. Be sure to buckle up. As soon as I figure out what to do with you and Lucas. And what's to figure out? I'm here, you trust me. Isn't that the whole point of tonight? <laughs> Isn't it? Hello? Matt, hi. Just checking in. Everything okay? Vanessa, everything's fine. I'm so glad that you called. How was that darn lecture? It was riveting. The law, ethics, and you. <laughs> so uh, you'll pretty much be coming on home right about now, huh? Now that was just part one. Part two is um, billable hours. Who says they're only 24 in a day? <laughs> anyway, tell the kids I love them. Bye. Bye. Is anything wrong? Everything. She loves you a lot. <laughs> Well, Ab, I guess it's time for you to go upstairs, go straight to bed, and start sawing logs in dreamland, okay? Okay, see you in the morning. <sighs> Uncle Matt, thanks for not telling Mom about leaving me in charge while you go to your story. Hey, what someone doesn't know won't hurt him, right? Absolutely. <sighs> Glad you agree. Here? Well, isn't that a funny question when you think about it? I mean, if I weren't here, I couldn't answer. <laughs> and yet... What was that? That was nothing. <laughs> and besides, I thought I told you to go straight to bed and start sawing those logs. I was just making sure the doors were locked. That one wasn't. Well, that's a nice catch. That's very impressive, but I was just about to lock them. Hi. Hey, I only agreed to babysit because you said she'd be asleep. What did you say? Uh, if she has any medical problems besides the hearing loss, maybe you better fill me in. You got me a babysitter? Abby, I had to call Walter. If I had left you alone, your mom would have my pancreas on a plate. <laughs> pancreas on a plate? Hey, that sort of rhymes almost. Wait, this is Walter? I am. Hands down the biggest screw-up in Southern California? Excuse me? That's a figure of speech. <laughs> no, it isn't. Walter, the guy you said can't find his own butt with both hands and a bloodhound? Uh, I am in the room here. Abby, listen, our deal still holds. You're still in charge. Good. Go home. <laughs> Say, she's cute. <laughs> oh, come on. You guys will have fun with the Oh, uh, yeah. We can watch Pinocchio. <laughs> I've only seen it 40 times. Yeah, well, it's amazing how the classics hold up. <laughs> but what about me getting an experience to tell Mom about? I got that covered. I'll be home way before your Mom. She won't even know that Walter was here. Just admit it. You call him over because you don't believe in me either. I will next time, Ab. I promise. Next time, next time. You sound just like my mom. Oh, well, I guess it's goodbye, little wooden boy. <laughs> and hello, basic instinct, director's cut. <laughs> Haven't you already seen that? It's amazing how the classics hold up. <laughs> Listen, don't open the door for anyone. I'll be back as soon as I can. Uh, Matt, in that case, let's make this a flat fee instead of the hourly rate, huh? You're charging me? Well, I wouldn't ask, but I need a few bucks for a new mailbox. What happened to your old mailbox? Nothing. I clipped yours on the way in the driveway. <laughs> it's okay. I uh, got a cousin in the hardware business. <laughs> Fine. Pay <Hey>, retail. <laughs> they're dressed. They're dressed. They're dressed. They're dressed. They're dressed. <laughs> they're undressed. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah, who's the stinking chain? I'm afraid I can't do that. Matt told me not to let anyone in. Who are you? Wh where's Matt? My, we have a lot of questions for somebody on the wrong side of the door. I live here, Buster. I'm Vanessa, Matt's sister. Yeah. Ow! I am Walter, and the real Vanessa's at a lecture at her law school. There was a bomb scare, okay? Gee, who'd want to blow up a bunch of lawyers? <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. You're Walter, the guy who can belch Silent Night? Oh, welcome home. By 
the way, that gets me invited to a ton of Christmas parties. Where's my brother? Uh, apparently he had to step out. Where are the kids? Upstairs. Kids? You mean there's more than just the one? Oh, my God! Jeez, nice sharing with you. Oh, man, did I just dodge a major career bullet. Matt, when I tell you to keep something just between you and me, I expect you I mean, to... I was this close to having my byline over the hoax story of the decade. No, of the century. It's not that I mind so much your sister knowing about my Silent Night skills. It's, it's your <laughs> sister. You mean my niece, Abby. No, I mean your sister, um, Vanessa, I think it was. Did she call? Why would she? She's right upstairs. What? How? <laughs> the kids. Where are the kids? Hey, look, till a minute ago, I thought it was just kid. <laughs> okay, that's it. There's something going on here. <laughs> okay, guys, if you're hiding, this would be a good time to come out. You got me real good. I got in bed? No. Where were you? It's cold out here. At least put the sweater on. Why did you try and make me? The roof, Vanessa, the roof. <laughs> Come on, Lucas, put the sweater on. I can see you shivering. I'm not shivering. It's a look I'm going for. <laughs> Fine, freeze to death. Well, maybe I will. Then Mom won't let you babysit me till you turn 65. You wouldn't need a babysitter. You froze to death, remember? All right. Give me that thing. <laughs> Why'd you even know I was up here anyway? When we lived in San Diego and he got twisted about something, he always climbed up the fire escape. So I just figured. Well, it's easier to think up high. So what are you twisted about? Nothing. How long are you gonna stay up here? A while. Till Mom gets home and sees her missing and freaks? I do not. Shh. <laughs> I do not freak. <laughs> Did you hear something? No. So that was your plan, right? Maybe. Because then Uncle Mac couldn't say things went fine with me in charge and we'd probably always have to have a real sitter. Oh, that sounds kind of childish me say it. There's nothing wrong with that. You're a child. And I guess you're not anymore? Lucas, I just meant... Whoa. That's it, isn't it? What's it? What's it? <laughs> you're scared that if I can babysit... It means I'm grown up. Then whenever somebody says the kids made a mess or not in front of the kids, they'll just mean you. Yeah, that is scary. I mean, I like it, but I can see I'll bum you out. <laughs> well, you're wrong anyway. I just don't want you in charge of me because you'll boss me around. Lucas, maybe you think that's what it is. Lots of times we do things for reasons we don't see at first. I sure do. I just don't want to be the only kid left around here, okay? Lucas, you won't be. I'm not going any place, whether I'm in charge of you sometimes or not. It's not really going to change anything between you and me. Nothing that matters. You're not just saying this to get me off the roof? <laughs> oh, I mean it. Heck, we've been going through enough changes. Moving in here, everything else that's happened since, you know, since Mom and I Dad don't want to talk about that. I know. Hey, me either. Ooh, no way. But if I ever do... Is it cool if I talk to you about it? To me? I think there's some junk only another kid would understand. Yeah. I got some junk like that, too. She's really something, my daughter. You bet. You want to share this candy bar? Are you going to make me brush after? <laughs> Who do I look like? A grown-up? <laughs> I do. Dumber. Well, that's something. <laughs> and Sharon Stone didn't even get a nomination for this. <laughs> Fuck politics. <laughs> oh, hi, Walter. Hey, where is everyone? Upstairs. The hollering stopped some time ago, so I'm sure everything's okay. <laughs> well, that's very reassuring. Basic instinct, the director's cut. Oh, really? Really? 
You know, I'm on the waiting list for this, but some yin yang has got it checked out for two weeks. Yeah, well, maybe he or she's been busy, okay? Uh, well, that Michael Douglas has the cutest buns. <laughs> it's not Michael Douglas. They used a bun double. Get off the bus. <laughs> Boy, some people really get sucked in by the Hollywood magic. Oh, don't you want your tea? My tea? Nah, go ahead, enjoy. Thank you, Walter. Just make sure you return about 10 a.m. It's going to cost you enough without getting charged for an extra day. <laughs> what a thoughtful boy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I just wanted to apologize to Abby for not believing in her. I know, so do I, but something really nice just happened between Lucas and Abby. Let's not cheapen that by telling them we eavesdrop. We didn't eavesdrop. We just happened to overhear them while we were hanging out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a point there. Look, we learned something, yes, but we don't have to announce it. We just have to apply it. Yeah, I can see that. Plus, and I think I speak for parents everywhere, this way... I don't have to admit I was wrong. You are good. Thank you. You know, you should write a book about this stuff. Really? Well, I... Well, maybe, maybe it's a pamphlet. Okay, <laughs> pamphlet. No, I think a, I think a flyer would do it. <laughs> What are you doing? Lucas is right. You do think better up high. Think about what? Stuff. You know, kids, life, the future, like that. Oh. Been up here for three hours. <laughs> it's important stuff. <laughs> also, I can't get down. <laughs> It's too high. Well, you, you shinny up the trellis, just shinny down the trellis. Down is different than up. You want me to get a ladder? Could you carry me down the ladder? I don't think so. Then don't bother. You can't stay up here forever, you know. The sun will be up soon. <laughs> think it'll be hot today? Don't move. Oh, you can count on that. I'm going to call the fire department. That's a wonderful idea, Matt. <laughs> You're a good brother. What the hell happened to our mailbox? 